Hello everyone, today we are here with another fundamental concept of electrical engineering, very basic one which you learned in first year, what is voltage and what is voltage difference and how to write KVL expression, loop expression. Of course, you can write the expression but sometimes you'll get confused in writing the equation whether you have to take minus sign or plus sign, you know. There are many confusions, but you try to follow this way what I'm going to teach that will make things very simpler and there won't be any confusion in writing the cable expression. And of course this is not just useful for writing cable expression, even it will be useful for many other applications like if you want to find potential at any point or potential difference between two points anywhere. So this is the concept we can apply in general and universal. You can apply in analog electronics, you can apply in machines, you can apply in power electronics. Okay. So try to follow this carefully. There is no much difficulties. So before we proceed, I just would like to give one, you know, interview question. Okay. That is, what is the difference between a network and a socket. What is network and what is a socket? Electric network or electric circuit? Some people say network theory, some people say circuit theory. So what is that? As you can see, electrical network is a combination of various elements, resistors, capacitors, voltage sources, current sources, you know. They are connected in any manner. Whatever the manner we are connecting all these elements and that is called an electric network. If this connected network contains at least one closed path, if that network is having at least one closed path, then we will call it as electric circuit. So I hope you got the difference now. Network is combination of or connecting these elements in any manner, if that connection has any one closed loop, then we'll call it as a circuit. Next, let's look at the definition of voltage. There are few terms we come across normally. Voltage, potential, voltage difference, potential difference and EMF. These are the terms normally we come across. So these two means the same. They are just synonyms. You may say voltage at a point or potential at a point. Both are same. And these two gives the same meaning. Of course, voltage potential is same. So definitely voltage difference and potential difference, these two terms will be the same. Now let's look at the definition of this. So how is it defined? So how it is defined at any point in electric field? It is defined as the work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity to that point against the electric field. So we are trying to move a unit positive charge from infinite to one point against the electric field is called voltage. So here you should understand this infinity. Infinity means where is infinity? Infinity is much far away from earth, much far away from, from, far away from the sun, much far away from our galaxy. What is infinity means? So here infinity means 
where there is no other electric field infinity means there is no electric field in that place that means where there is a zero electric field or where there is zero potential so infinity basically means zero potential so this is very important here so you need to bring a unit positive charge from zero potential to somewhere so how much work is done for that that is what voltage v is equal to dw by dq this is in joule per coulomb so unit is joule per joule per coulomb or you may say volt so if this is the definition for voltage then what is the definition for voltage difference definition for voltage difference is it's you know pretty simple to understand suppose i got or x has got 80 marks in one exam and y has got 90 marks in the same exam now if i ask you the question straight away what is the marks gained by x you will say x marks is equal to when i ask you what is x marks you will say 80 now when i say what is the difference between x and y then you will say difference is 10 try to understand this more clearly when i say marks for x you are saying 80 which means the reference point or the reference value for this is 0 0 is a reference when i simply say marks you will directly take 0 as a reference with respect to 0 he secured 80 reference is 0 from 0 he secured 80 now if i ask you what is the difference here then you are taking this as a reference and at what level this y is with respect to this 80 so that's what the difference between difference and the normal number okay i think you know you're not confused okay so here potential difference means potential means reference is zero potential difference means the reference value is not necessarily to be zero it can be any value which means i need to bring a unit positive charge from any point to a particular point so that any point might be having some electric field or may not be having some electric field field it doesn't matter so that's what it says potential difference is a work done in moving a unit positive charge from one potential to another potential okay and this is a key point if potential difference exist then only current flows if there is a difference in potential then only current flows as we know current flows from higher potential to lower potential so there must be a difference in potentials for the flow of current so i hope these are clear okay there is another thing what is this emf electromotive force what is the electromotive force and when do you use this this is the terminology we use at the origin point by mean suppose i have a socket here i have home my home is there okay there is a entry gate my home is there 
my home is getting connection, electrical connection from somewhere, from the transmission line. So I will say here the voltage between these two lines is the voltage between these two lines is some x volt. And these lines are coming from some transmission lines. There is some long transmission line and there is power stations, everything. So finally, there is a generator. So this voltage has produced from this. So what is the origin point for this voltage? This is the origin point. Generator is the origin point. So the driving force has initiated at this position, at the end of generator. So as the driving force has initiated here, the electromotive force has initiated here, so I will call the voltage at this part as EMF. Of course, this is nothing but voltage, but I'm giving a specific name as EMF. By mean, I'm trying to specify this is the origin point of the whole voltage, what I'm getting here. The driving force has started at this position. So that is what the significance of using electromotive force. In normal, you know, in normal ways, daily use, we may mix. Sometimes we may call EMF, sometimes we may call voltage. We'll keep mixing, mixing all these things. But this is a main funda behind it. Okay. So this is what the definition for voltage and the definition for voltage difference. So what you need to understand here is, you'll have to keep in one mind, one thing in your mind. If I say voltage, then you'll, ha you'll have to take references zero potential or earth because we know earth is having a zero potential. So reference will take it as zero potential that is earth. When I say voltage difference, the reference point could be any potential. Reference is any potential where you ask to find. Suppose I ask you to find voltage difference between this point to this point. So you'll take this point as a reference. Otherwise, if I ask you to find the voltage difference between this point to this point, you'll take this as reference with respect to this. So, you know, it depends on what is asked. These things will be even more clear when you take some problem, simple problem, and try to make it. Okay, before that, let's take a small resistor and I'm taking, there is some network of course, there is some network here. And current is flowing in this resistor. As I said, current flows from higher potential to lower potential. This is higher potential, this is lower potential. Because I have given current direction as this way, so this must be higher potential, this must be lower potential. So what I'll do is, I will try to represent or I'll try to remove this, I'll try to represent in an alternative way. In place of H, I'm writing plus. In place of L, I'm writing minus. So remember this. It is very specific. Don't get confused. I have written here negative. It doesn't mean it is a negative potential. I have written here plus. It doesn't mean it is a positive potential. It is just an alternative representation of writing H. And this is an alternative representation of writing L. Why I'm changing this to these, plus and minus? Why I'm changing H and L to plus minus? I have one advantage of writing in this fashion. I will tell you what is advantage. Unless you know the advantage of it, there is no point of writing plus and minus. 
So here the conclusion is plus it doesn't mean it is a positive potential, minus it doesn't mean it is a negative potential. It just means it is a higher potential compared to this. That's it. Okay. So this is what we'll call it as passive sign convention. That means any passive element current entering node is represented with plus sign. Current leaving node is represented with minus sign. So whatever story we said so far, that they're stating as one convention. What is a convention? Passive sign convention. What does it mean? For any passive element, current flows from higher potential to lower potential. So in a short, for any element, we will represent current entering terminal is positive. For any passive element, current entering terminal is positive. That is what passive sign convention means. So now let's see how to write the KVL expression for a given loop. So let's not take this big loop right now. Let me take a simple loop for a better explanation. Then we'll go for a difficult loop. Again, these are fundamentals which we normally miss or which, of course, we don't miss. We try to, you know, write a cable expression in different fashions. And we get struck in sometimes when you had to apply the KVL in some specific applications like machines and power electronics. So try to follow the convention, what I'm saying. That will be universal. You can apply in anywhere. So this is what the circuit I have given. Now, I wish to write KVL expression for this loop. Better let me change the color. So we need, we need to write KVL expression for this loop. So for that, we will have to know current direction first. If it is not given here, you can assume any current direction. So I'm assuming this current direction. Current direction is this way, I'm taking current as I. So as we know from the passive sign convention, for a passive element, current entering terminal is positive and current leaving terminal is negative. And here positive and here negative. And here, is it a passive element or active element? It is an active element. For an active element, irrespective of the current direction, whether current is going downwards or upwards, this long plate is always a positive plate. And this is a negative plate. We know that. And here also, this is a positive plate, this is a negative plate. We know that. So first, what we had done, we had to assume some current direction. And next, we represented plus minus to each and every element. Now try to draw, or now try to write the KVL expression for this. How to write? As I have taken this loop, I'm starting at this point, this point. So let me move this way. As I'm traveling this way, first, I'm touching minus terminal, so put minus here. And what is the voltage? Voltage is V1, minus V1. Next, as you're traveling, we got second element, and first, we got positive terminal. Let's write plus. And what is the voltage across this? I into R1. Next, I'm coming at plus, so let me write plus. What is the voltage across this? I into R2. Next, I got plus, plus V2. That's it. I come back to the same position. KVL says this is equal to zero. This is a KVL expression. See how simple is this? There will be no confusion at all because you're putting plus minus corresponding to this current direction. 
and I'm traveling this way, as I'm traveling this way, first I'm touching minus terminal, put minus, and voltage across this, V1. And here I'm coming at plus terminal, you put plus, and voltage across this. So like that. Okay? So this is what the use of writing plus minus plus minus here. And you believe me, you try to follow this, there won't be any confusion at all in any analysis. Whatever the analysis you make, try to follow this. So let's see the other application of the process, what I said. So the question it is given, you have to write loop expression for this loop and this loop, loop one and loop two. So let me explain for one loop, for the second loop, you can do it. Let me take this loop. And here, this current direction is given as I1. This current direction is given as I1. But here, current direction is not given. And here also, current is not given. So let me assume some current. I'm assuming this direction of current. I can assume any current direction. I'm assuming this current direction, let me take it as I2. And here, let me assume in the same way, this way, I3. So here current is I1, this is I3, and this is I2. So first step is assuming current directions if, not, if they're not given. So I have taken. Step two, give plus minus to each and every element. So current, direct, current, current is going this way, so this will be plus, minus, plus, minus, irrespective of current direction, this will be plus, this will be minus, and this will be plus, minus, and here it is already given, plus minus is given here, so let me not disturb this, and this one is plus, minus, because battery, irrespective of current direction, this is a positive plate, this is negative plate and current is going upwards, so this must be plus, this must be minus. Here it is given already, plus minus, because it is an active source. Here current direction is upwards, so plus, minus, this is again a source, active element, minus plus is given. Here, plus, minus, I think better let me zoom it so that you can see clearly. So what we have done is, we have given plus minus to each and every element. Now, third step. What is the third step? Let me take this loop, let me travel from this end. When I am traveling, first I am getting plus terminal, it's right plus. Next, plus terminal, you write plus. Minus terminal, you write minus. Plus terminal, you write plus. So like that, you keep writing and give the expression. Let me write the same for loop one. I'm starting from here. When I'm traveling, I got plus V1. I strongly recommend if there is a plus here, you please write plus. Don't ignore this plus, even if it is first term. That will be helpful further. Next, we got plus, take plus. And what is the voltage across this? current into resistance, I2, R1, and here this is minus, and that is plus. First, I'm coming at minus, V2, plus, I2, R2. Again, I'm coming at negative terminal, minus, I1, R3, plus, V3, plus, Vx, I returned, which is equal to zero. Loop is completed, so loop equation equal to zero, according to KVL. Similarly, try for loop two. You try for loop two, let me write here. You can cross check. Start from this part, from the bottom part, you keep traveling. You write along with me and cross check. That 
that's it. So this is a first loop expression. This is a second loop expression. And if you follow this, you know there won't be any confusion regarding voltage raise, voltage drop, which sign should be taken. You know there won't be any mess, and is universal. So what is what else is asked here? It is asked cable expression for loop one and loop two. That is done. Next. Also find the voltage at point A and find VB, VC, VD. So you'll have to find these voltages. Voltage at point A, point B, point C, point D. Where is point A? This is point A. It is given A. So he's asking to find voltage at point A. How do you find? Again, try to remember this. If you are asked to find voltage at any point, again, if you are asked to find voltage at any point, you start at that point and go to ground, following KVL sign conventions. That is, V A is equal to. I am starting at this point and going to the ground. Cable sign convention is: if you are coming at negative terminal first, put negative, and this is V1. And yes, we reach to the ground. That's it. That is what is equal to VA. Now you may say, why should I go this way? Am I allowed to go this way also? Yes, absolutely right. You can. The statement says, if you want potential at any point, you start at that point, go to ground. In which path you will go, it doesn't matter. Of course, there is one one point you should remember. You should not traverse single node twice. I mean, you cannot, you know, come like this. आगे पीछे, I'm traveling this way, or you know, may not be this way. You cannot do like that. So start from this point and come back to ground and write the expression. V A is equal to first I'm coming at plus plus I two R one minus A V2 plus I2 R2 minus I1 R3 plus V3 plus Vx. This is also equal to VA. You will get both the same answer. And again, some people say, "Sir, why should I go this way? I want to go this way." Yes, you can go that way also. If I go this way, you will get plus I two R one minus V two plus I two R two plus I three R four plus I three R five plus V4 plus I3 R6. So all three gives the same answer. So similarly, you can write the expression for VB also. Where is B? B is here. Potential at point B. You start at this point, come to ground. Maybe this way. Or maybe this way, anyway. But you should not traverse a single node twice, like this. I cannot come this way. Okay. So this is what the 
Altairs, you try to write VB, VC, and VD. All possible values of, or all possible value expressions for VB, and all possible expressions for VC, as well as VD. You try to make it. Now, there is another another thing which is asked. That is, voltage difference between A and B, and also you need to find V, B, A, B, C, and C, D. So as I said, potential means reference is ground. That's why we reach to the ground. Now, when you ask to find voltage difference between A and B, you will start at point A, and you will go to point B. Following cables and conventions, yes. Again, this is one way. This is another way. This is another way. So we got three ways. Okay. Now try to make that. Uh, let me delete this. Delete. Delete. Okay. V A B. So which path should I go? Let me choose this path first. Following cables and conventions, V A B is minus V one, minus V X, minus V three, plus I one R three. This is one expression. The second expression is this way. That turns out to be minus V one minus I three R six minus V four minus I three R five minus I three R four, I reach to B. Or else, I may go this way also. Plus I two R one minus V two plus I two R two. See, once you once you have already written this plus minus, you don't have to now take. This direction into consideration, because based on this direction only you have given plus minus. So that's why I'm writing all these equations just by looking at these signs. I'm not looking at the current directions now. Okay. So this is how one has to write cable expressions. Of course, you may write in different ways. That gives the answer, but somewhere you will get confused. try to follow this simple technique there won't be any confusion hope things are clear thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel for more updates and do share the video with your friends that's it for today signing off